I'm going to walk you through the steps of compiling your own C program. Uh, if you start by going to the S drive and go to technology, go to 11com, and there's an LCC folder which contains an LCC folder which contains a whole bunch of stuff. Copy the whole lot and put them onto your USB drive to save time. I've already done this. Then th this is um, this is basically a compiler program. If you go into the bin folder, find wedit.exe. Uh, that's you will see this when you start up. You need to go file new project. Now your project, you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it demo and my working directory. I actually need to create a directory for this, otherwise it will complain in a moment. So going back to my uh, USB drive, I'm going to go and create a new folder. You could put it in projects as well, but new folder is good, which will be the, um, what shall I call this? I shall call this the demo folder. Why not? Okay. So back to here and I am going to say it's my F drive, so F colon slash demo and it should automatically fill this in. I got the slash the wrong way. I always do that. Cool. F colon slash demo console application, but it should say that anyway. So if I hit create, yes, I do want to use the wizard. Here's the wizard. OK. Next. Next. Finish. So all the defaults all the way. So this is a C program. It's created a whole bunch of structure that makes it run reliably on Windows when compiled. Um, you can ignore all of this. You're just scrolling down, down, down to the place in the main function where it says the code of your application goes here. And this is where we can write a C program just for now. I'm going to do a nice simple output statement. Print F. Hello from uh, Pakoranga. Semicolon on the end. Got to get all of that correct. C is very unforgiving and good done so we now have a project with and it will output this this isn't a windows program so i won't get a nice window but i can run it from the console we'll see that in a minute so make it says demo.exe built successfully if you don't get that message it means you stuffed up typing in this line and you need to go back and do it again so back to my folder i've now got the demo folder with my the files that make up this project this demo.c if I just edit with notepad that's the source code and we can see it says hello from Pakaranga close that and in the LCC folder it's got a demo.exe that's the executable that's the low level machine language stuff that we've been looking for in order to run that program and actually see the output, we need to do it in the command prompt. So all the way back up to this top level, cmd.exe, command prompt, brings this up. This is where you're going to use your DOS skills. And um, I need to change to the folder in which the program is stored. So cd space demo, cd is change directory. I'm now in the demo folder and it was the LCC folder within that demo folder and if I type in dir tell me what's in that directory I can see that I have demo.exe so all I need to do to run it is type in demo.exe for one reason or another it needs a parameter of any sort I'm just going to put in a zero so demo.exe space zero hello from Pakaranga so we just ran our compiled program the thing worth noting of course is this demo this demo.exe I can now take this .exe file and I can run it anywhere I like I can just copy it to another computer and another Windows computer and it will run it doesn't require any of this um, LCC environment to run unlike say a interpreted Python program which requires the Python interpreter to run 
One last thing I'm going to do is uh, just have a look at that machine code. I'm using this online disassembler.com ODA and you can actually upload so file upload file and I'm going to choose that file I just created so if I dig into my F drive um, demo folder LCC demo.exe open that file and click OK ticky 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 um, it says it's yeah I'm going to go with those seems all right and here we are. So this is the actual assembly language that comes from the program that you wrote. So as you can see, it's very different from that source code, which was relatively understandable. It had things like if statements and print statements and so on. But this has just got lots of movs and pushes and deaxes and so on, which um, are doing very low level stuff at the byte level to, to bytes stored in memory addresses. So the memory addresses uh, are just places that it jumps around within this code. So there we've seen the whole process of taking a source code, compiling it into an executable, which we've then run, and then having a look at that assembly language, which um, which is the executable. Hopefully you'll be able to write all about that and explain or demonstrate your understanding in your report. Good luck.